Okay, here's feeding video number five. Okay, so today I purchased some Suriname cockroaches. These guys are a burrowing species of cockroach. I'm gonna try to feed some of these to the juveniles. See if they like it. Okay, let's start up with the some post Cambridge eye, the Trinidad Chevron. Got a male Dubia roach. Just drop it in. Yep, she got it. It's not very clear because she webbed up the sides, but you can see her right there. Okay, let's move on to the Sea Darlingi. Okay, here's the Ceratogyrus Darlingi, the rare horned baboon. Let's see if she wants a superworm. Oh, she's being aggressive. I'm gonna take it. You know you want it. Come on. I haven't fed this one a superworm in a long time, so not sure if she wants it. I think she's gonna take it. Yep, thanks. Uh, come on, you don't want to. <coughs> All right, she doesn't want it, so take it out. Probably tossing a turkey stand cockroach. Okay, here we have the Ternachellus marinus, the OBT. We'll give him a male roach. Oh, it's being aggressive. And he got it. very nice my phone is not very clear when I zoom in so that's the end of that roach okay let's see what we're gonna feed next okay let's get this Nandu Chromatus a superworm There we go. I don't think I've fed this one a superworm before, so that's his first. Okay, on to the next. Nandu carapoensis, the Brazilian red. <laughs> yep, very nice. Okay, now let's try the curly hair. Brachypelma albopilosum. Honduran curly hair. And there we go. Okay, so the roach in the OBT is still struggling, as you can see. 
Venom hasn't taken effect yet. What a terrible way to die. Okay, moving on. Mexican Reddening, Brachypalma Smithy. That was quick. Okay, let's on to the next T. Here is the Lyrocnathus Kianis Posatoi. It's in its burrow, so he took it very gently. Okay, moving on. Here's the Kilobrachis King Krachan. He's waiting at his burrow, as you can see his leg is dropping a worm. There he goes. Very nice looking tea. Their common name is the Dark Earth Tiger. Another old world species. Very nice. Okay, let's move on. This Ratajar Darlingi, the rare horned baboon, just molted. So we will not be feeding this one. Gramastola rosea, the Chilean rose. Let's give him a mealworm. There we go. This one just molted about five days ago. So that'll be his first meal. A little bit skinny, so I'm gonna have to pump this one up a bit. And yeah. Here is the Lassiodora parahybana, the Brazilian salmon pink. Always a great eater. Probably it's first superworm as well. Alright, we have another parahybana. Let's give that a shot. Alright, so this parahybana is slightly larger than the previous one. Although they are from the same egg sac. So I'm going to assume that this one could be a male. Because males do tend to grow faster than females. Very nice. Also with... Whoa. Yeah. Also with the previous mold of this guy. Seemed to be a male. Didn't have any flap underneath. So... Yeah. Alright, on to the next one. Here's the Brachypelma Classy, the Mexican pink. Let's give him a worm and nice dive. It's like a slow-mo dive. <laughs> Alright, so I've got another three or four super worms for the next few teas. And then after that we'll move on to the Cockroaches. Acanthoscuria geniculata. Let's see if this one wants a Suriname cockroach. This will be its first. Whoa! Yeah, seems to like it. Definitely. It's awesome. Right, since the cockroach is pretty small for this guy, let's try offering it another one. I'm gonna take it yeah that's the bad thing about this cockroach since they like to burrow nope that's not food that's not food yeah they like to burrow so that one has gone under oh well 
He'll get it. Alright, moving on. Anyways, moving on to the Brachypelma Classy, the Mexican Pink. It's quite a big meal for her. Should last her a good week or two. Very fat butt. So, she will not be eating for a week. Alright, let's feed the third Brachypelma Classy. Brachypelma Classy number three. They seem to love superworms compared to the roaches. Cool. Alright, let's see who else wants to eat. Ternachillus Lugardi, the Fort Hall baboon. We'll give this one a mealworm. Yes. Small meal for this guy because he has a big butt. Okay. Who's next? Nandochromatus. Wow. Gonna have to clean out this guy's water dish. Very nice. Okay. Alright, here's my pet hole. Syropagopus lividum. Let's see if he'll come out. Hopefully. You can see his legs there. There he comes. Whoa! Worm looked a bit too big for him, but he took it down. Damn. That will last him. Okay, let's move on. Alright, my last super worm will go to the Brachypalma Vagans, the Mexican Red Rump. And there we go. Probably gonna rehouse this guy into a slightly larger enclosure. But yeah, once he matures, I'm gonna be doing a breeding project with him. Love the Brachypama Vagans with their black legs and red rump. Okay. Let's check out the next tea. Acanthoscuria geniculata. This one will get a turkey stand cockroach. And there we go. Sorry it's a little too dark. It's because I'm filming on top of a chair. I still do not have a tripod for my phone. So yeah, my flash isn't the greatest. Okay. Okay, a dubia roach for this geniculata. Whoa. Okay. All right, let me check what's next. Alright, let's attempt to feed... Oh, we have another geniculata. Okay, Turkestan cockroach. Wow, they 
they all seem to have a pretty good feeding response today. Apart from the second sea darling. Not sure what's up with that one. Hmm. Okay. Let's check out another tea. Alright, here we have the Heteroscrota maculata, the Togo Starburst baboon. And there he goes. Actually, the sh it's a she. It's a female. Molten her by... I mean, sex her by her molt. Confirmed female. Lovely. Okay. Let's see what we can feed next. So now we'll be feeding my Lampropelma violaceopes, the Singapore blue. As you can see, his leg, his blue leg is over there at the bottom. So let's drop in a Dubia roach and see if he wants it. Oh, yep, he got it. You can't see him because he's on the ground, but there's his leg. I'm probably gonna rehouse this one, put like a bark inside for him because he's an arboreal species, and hopefully, he'll be. Out in the open more often okay let's see what we're gonna feed next all right here's the brachypelma cybulosum the Guatemalan red rump let's give this one a Suriname cockroach Ah, oh, don't tell me the cockroach just burrowed again. And he got it! Very nice attack. Whoa. Yep, this cockroach didn't get to burrow fast enough. <laughs> Alright, let's try out the second bee sap blossom. Alright, second Brachypelma Sablossom. Gonna get the roach before it burrows. Maybe. Not my tongs. Get off my tongs. Seem interested? Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay. On to the next. Okay, here we have the Tapinakinis gigas, the orange tree spider. Wow. There she goes. Nope, you're not coming out. Wow. Let's get a top view. Look at those legs. Right, let's feed the next one. Alright, Tapinakin is Gigas number two. <laughs> the roach didn't even know what was coming. Wow. Track that. 
that out. Okay, we have one more orange tree spider to feed and then I'll wrap up this video. I didn't want this video to be a long one because I do have a lot more slings and juvenile pocletherias to feed but this video is already long enough so we'll feature the pokies in the next feeding video. Alright, let's feed the last one. Okay, let's feed this one from the top. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. We didn't see the attack, but she definitely got it. <laughs> it's a big female turkey sand roach for her. So, yep. So, this one, this last tea would wrap up this video. I'll film feeding video number 6 next week which will be featuring the Pocletherius and the other slings like the Neoholotheli Inse, OBTs, Cochana Brunipes yep because these juveniles will probably be some of them I won't be feeding next week because as you saw, a lot of them had some, their butts were big, so they're plump enough to last a week without food. Oh yeah, update on the Dubia Roach and the OBT. The Dubia is still alive for some reason, but the OBT has got it under control. Alright, so I gotta get this stuff cleaned up. These were from the rehousing video of the Stromatopelma calcedums, if you watched it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next week for the next feeding video. Or possible videos in between. Alright, see ya!